Welcome uh, to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we are taking a look at a passage in Paul's uh, first letter to the Corinthians, offering some thoughts for uh, reflection. Uh, I mentioned my uh, yesterday my uh, unpleasant experience uh, in, a, in a theology uh, class, and um, well, this seems to be a common thread in my experience. I remember my very first uh, physics class when I was a freshman at Penn State 35 years ago. The professor walked into the room and he said, I just want to let you know that half of you students are going to drop out of this class. Half of the remaining students will fail. Half of those remaining students will get a D. So do the math. Like, there's 10 out of you that are actually going to pass this class. Um, It's true that in college, sometimes it appears that professors care more about the subject matter than they do the students. Uh, I think that is true in, in academia, that sometimes the, the instructors, the academics, can be sort of objective and removed and dispassionate from the people that they're teaching. And I think this is true in, in academic discussions, debates of theology, too. Sometimes theologians can get so wrapped up in all the finer points of theology uh, and, and argue and debate and, uh, and, and end up judging others who don't agree with them. And, and sometimes these debates, uh, these theological debates, uh, end up dividing people, excluding people, judging others, blaming others. And I'm not sure that that's what the intent of theology is supposed to be all about. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that the Apostle Paul was certainly an accomplished and brilliant theologian, and much of our Christian theology uh, comes from him. But aside from being a theologian, he was also a pastor. And he didn't just want to, to present these concepts to the church in Corinth. He really, truly cared about the people. He wanted them to be saved. Uh, through their faith in Jesus Christ. He he writes uh, in this passage, For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. In the end, that's the purpose of our religious practices, our theological uh, debates and understandings. It's, It's to save. It's to bring people together. It's to make people whole. It's, it's for the cause of, of reconciliation and, and offering people life. And so uh, anytime our kind of conversations or uh, debates about theology uh, end up tearing people down, uh, dividing people, uh, excluding others, uh, we can be pretty sure uh, that that is not what their intention is supposed to be. Uh, The intention of our theological understandings is always to bring people together. Amen.